Hey y'all, Bunkle here. Welcome back to another video or welcome to the first video that you might be seeing on my channel. Hope you've been having a fantastic day. Today is definitely a, has been a good one. Uh, every day has its own adventures and every day you never know what you'll find as part of it, right? Life is a box of cherries and all that good stuff. Anyway, I'm uh, going to be opening in this video some 1988 Fleer baseball stickers. Now, I don't know what's up with this set. Um, when you do a little bit of research on PSA, you'll see that not, uh, not too many cards have been sold. Uh, there's not too many recent prices. Uh, it, I don't know if this set is overlooked or, um, uh, and if it is overlooked, why is it overlooked? I mean, it is a real ugly card set. That's for sure. Or sticker set as it may be. Uh, could it be that not many survived or something? Uh, I mean, really who knows? Uh, I would say that this, uh, this set of stickers, um, definitely has a bunch of big stars from the day um some of the some of the ones that you want to might find for grading uh would be your daryl strawberry your doc gooden and your cal ripkin now when you're leading off with strawberry and gooden you're talking about definite greats of the day that uh kind of crashed and burned as far as career wise uh woulda coulda shoulda um but yeah it's definitely a sign of those times uh 80s late 80s early 90s was pure junk wax, um, and then definitely a, a period of excess, uh, flash and all of that. Anyway, we'll get started on these. Now, there are several of these that have never been found with everything I just said, never been found in a PSA 10. Uh, some big names there also, your Wade Boggs, your Brett Saberhagen, Eric Davis, uh, then you have uh, John Franco, Tim Raines. Um, there's also a ton of other stars and, uh, logo stickers. So let's get started. Now on the backs of these, you could protect your valuable cards with Fleer's official sports collector sheets. Uh, don't know if these exactly would be ones that you would have put in it at that time. I don't think so. Uh, stickers were really never all of that big, um, as far as collectibles, although some should be if you, uh, take a look through my channel you'll see a another video where i'm doing some garbage pail kids now those those stickers were put all over the place and used and everything else and there's some from uh series one two and three especially series one that have some serious value um i mean first of all collector fun and all of that but uh i i guess uh, also monetary anyway we'll start these off and we got the cincinnati red sticker there and on the back of the sticker, we got Riverfront Stadium, home of the Reds. Keep that one to the side. Starting off with John Crook. Got Kurt Young. Willie McGee. Rags Rigetti. Yankee pitcher. Great pitcher. The backs of these cards have all their career stats. Now, if you see what I'm saying, just as far as front, they're really dull. Uh, backs, yeah. I, I, they leave a lot to be desired. I don't know what's up with all the star colors and all of that. and Just print quality is pretty lousy. But yeah, they, they again, are a card, a sticker of their day. That's for sure. Put those to the side. And pop open pack number two for y'all. All right, we got a Giants and a Ranger sticker. And on the back, we got Jack Murphy Stadium, home of the San Diego Padres. So no matchup there, unlike the Reds where you had Riverfront. I mean, some of these might be pretty cool because you'll see old stadiums that are no longer there. Another little bit of history. All right, Lloyd Mosby. And we have our first Hall of Famer in these, Cal Ripken Jr. It's a great card to find. Ruben Sierra, one that could have, should have, maybe been a Hall of Famer, but got caught up in the whole PED and all of that other stuff. And I mean, who really knows? Rick Russell and Charlie Ho. Ho Huff. <laughs> all 
All right, let's get him in a wrapper. Cal Ripken's always going to wrap. I should have had a couple ready here. I thought I did, but... All righty. There goes our first Hall of Famer, Mr. Cal Ripken. Great stuff there. And we'll keep it moving. As I mentioned, Ripken is one of the ones that we'd be looking for here. Uh, PSA 10 values, and this might be a 10. The centering looks real good. The corners definitely look great on that. Uh, but PSA 10, uh, when, when, I tend to, when I look for grading, um, I tend to look at what the price of card might be on the free market without being slabbed. Uh, then the cost of slabbing, and if something is higher than the cost of the card on the free market and the slabbing of it, and it definitely is going to be a 10 now. Of course, one never knows with the whims and everything else of PSA and any other grading service. If it's going to be, it could be the most perfect card, and I've seen perfect cards come back with an 8 or a 9 ridiculously. Um, there are a couple of companies out there that are experimenting with AI as opposed to I guess humans looking at it and just giving uh, what their subjective is. But either way, we got Dodgers sticker and this one kind of matches Dodger Stadium, home of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Got Corey Snyder, Bill Duran, Jose De Leon, Rick Sutcliffe, and Mike Greenwell. We're supposed to be and could have been, should have been, and all of that future everything was going to be the next Ted Williams and uh, the next everybody for the Red Sox and their organization didn't exactly pan out that way. As you'll hear me say on many other videos, uh, there's a lot of stars and projected stars that didn't exactly go the way that their careers were supposed to if, uh, if you believed all the media hype. All right, we got Rangers and Phillies. And we got Tiger Stadium on the back of that. Home of the Detroit Tigers. No kind of match there. Got Doyle Alexander. Mike Scott. Bobby Thigpen. Eric Davis. Now that's nice. Again, the Eric Davis I might keep on the side because there has never been a PSA 10 of Eric Davis. And a Brian Downing. Now, some of these... Uh, they did call them star stickers, and I guess some of them may have been stars at the time. Um, and maybe to their local fans. I, I don't ever recall Doyle Alexander, in my mind, being considered a star. Um, I mean, I guess he was a major leaguer, and that's great. But uh, a star, I, I that's questionable. St. Louis Cardinals, and we got Bush Stadium. Nice picture of Bush Stadium there, but black and white. Now, Burt Blylevin, he's one that uh, interesting career he had, um, Hall of Famer. And, yeah, he got the numbers eventually and all of that, but uh, you got to wonder. He, he had a good career, uh, I guess a good, long, consistent career of, uh, of constant excellence, although it may not have been that that serious superstar flash excellence but yeah, in my mind he's one that one would question should he have been in the hall of fame and somebody like for example thinking later uh kurt schilling not be but it is what it is and we move on so i'm going to keep the hall of famer on the side el cid fernandez frank white tim burke and Alan Trammell. I'll keep the Trammell on the side also. Now, centering is off top to bottom there, in my opinion. But again, it's it's all subjective. It's all... Who really knows? Sure, there's things to measure what the centering should be. And I actually picked up one a couple weeks ago that I'm going to be playing around with. But you never know exactly. All right, so we got the Reds and the Angels. And Jack Murphy Stadium, home of the San Diego Padres in this one. Got Rock Roger McDowell, Kevin Seitzer. He was another one that was supposed to be a real all-time great. He was a good hitter. He had a good career, but never really made it up to the potential they hyped him up to be. Mitch Webster. 
Not exactly one of the all-time Montreal Expo greats, but still good player. Matt Noakes and Steve Sachs. We continue on. All right, got the Tigers and the Yankees. Got my Yankees there. That's, a, that's always a good one. And on the back of it, we got Veteran Stadium, home of the Phillies. Starting off with power pitcher Mike Scott. Another Doyle Alexander, just because I made fun of him before. Got the Eric Davis again. I will definitely be keeping that on the side. Mr. Bobby Thigpen, Pigpen Thigpen. We just used to goof on some of these names. So, again, maybe it was just that we were kids, but... <laughs> And Dale Murphy, another woulda, shoulda, coulda, in my mind, Hall of Famer, but I'm not part of the committee, so I have no say-so there. Next pack for y'all. All right, we got the Padres and the Boston Red Sox. Now, this is one that I may have... Like shredded back in the day. Again, Yankee fan here. Dodger Stadium, home of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Just as I'm sure many uh, Boston fans would have shredded a Yankee sticker or cards or whatever else. Starting off with Terry Pendleton, Dave Winfield, Hall of Famer there. Sid Bream, Frankie V, looking all goofy in that picture. Moved on from the Mets, might have been a good thing. And Steve Bedrosian. I'd say, so far, these have been a bit lackluster. Uh, pulled some good cards out of them, and uh, they're definitely interesting-looking stickers. And that, that was an interesting coincidence. You got the Cardinal sticker followed up by the Wizard of Oz. That's a nice little one. I, I'd keep that, definitely. And followed up by a Mattingly. All right. And as soon as I say this is a, it's, it's been lining up to not be a great one, uh, I'd say we'll knock those two out, and I'll keep the Bobby Bow, the Mattingly, absolutely the Mattingly. That's a, that's a real nice looking sticker there, and the Wizard of Oz. Keep those on the good pile, and we keep it moving. Now the ones on the good pile, I will get back to in a bit. Uh, just want to check for any kind of stains. If you notice, like this. Carney Lansford here. There's a nasty wax stain on the back of that. We got the Pittsburgh Pirates and Toronto Blue Jays with Anaheim Stadium, home of the California Angels. Got Ellis Burks, who was supposed to be another serious slugger with Boston, and was a good hitter. Was a definitely had some power, but uh, was not all that. Tony Fernandez, if not for him, uh, Derek Jeter might not have made it when he did. Ken Phelps, Dave Dravecki, and Carney Lansford. And I should probably put that Johnny Franco on the side also, um, because that's one of the other ones that's never been a 10. But I'll grab that one in a bit. All right, we got our San Diego Padres sticker. And Jack Murphy. Leading off with Larry Parrish. Got Don Robinson and flipping the cards back and forth here. Pete Incavilia. Benito Santiago. Great catcher. And Alvin Davis. That's another womp womp pack. Now that's nasty stained up over there. But I guess that's okay. That's Mike Witt. That's some really ugly wax staining on there. Start off with Pittsburgh Pirates. And Three Rivers. Mike Henneman. Kevin Bass. Julio Franco. Andre Dawson, nice sticker there. It's a good find. I'll keep that in a good pile. 
M. Mike Witt, as I mentioned with that nasty gum stain on the back. Got the next one coming. And, well, it wasn't gum stain. I should say wax stain. There was no gum in these. I'm thinking about all the packs that I opened not too long ago. That gum stains were over multiple cards. It was really bad. All right, we got the Milwaukee Brewers American League. Different times, different places. Milwaukee County Stadium. Milwaukee's an interesting city. I, I definitely enjoyed my time passing through there. Got Tim Wallach, Jack Morris, Oral Hershiser, Brooke Jacoby, and the Glenn Davis card. Keep it moving. All right. Got the Pirates and the Jays. And we have another card for the Anaheim Stadium, home of the California Angels. Got Jesse Barf, Barfield. Larry Sheets. <laughs> Not going to make fun of that name. Rick Russell. Charlie Huff. <laughs> and John Crook. Keep it rolling with the next. All right, Montreal Expos. I was talking not too long ago. I'm going to keep this one up here. YouTube shout out to Slap Nuts is Gaming. We're talking about the Expos as well as the Indians the other day. The Indians, not the Guardians, the Indians. Fernando Valenzuela. We got Pat Tabler. Nolan Ryan. Nice one. Keep that one on the side there. Hey, he'll get a wrapper. Ozzy Geekin and Cal Daniels. This is one set where the Ryan is not one of the more highly valued cards or stickers. Centering on this one is pretty ugly, right to left. Top to bottom doesn't look so bad, but right to left definitely does. And that could be that by this time, everybody was saving every possible Ryan they could. Or again, it could just be that these are pretty funky, ugly stickers. All right, beat the Mets. Everybody just join in and beat the Mets. And we have defunct stadium, Shea Municipal Stadium. Now, you have the subway that went past there. And I do remember back during uh, those days, if you if you wanted to get a ticket to a, to a game where Gooden was pitching, you really it was impossible. Eighty six, eighty seven, eighty eight. There was no way you were getting anywhere near there. Ticket prices were through the roof. Uh, they were bought, and then you have to buy them on the street for a few hundred bucks. But right near the back of the stadium, like probably somewhere right over there, you have a an elevated train line. That went past. And if you were standing in exactly the right place there. You could see straight through to home plate. Uh, so you see the pitcher's mound. As well as home plate. Just the perfect angle. If you're there with binoculars. You might be able to catch a few pitches. Before the cops chased you away. Some Shea Stadium memories there. They, they got rid of that perp, ugly purple stadium though. Alright we got the Cal Ripken again. That's nice. I'll wrap him up right now. Now, if we compare the centering there, the first one definitely has better centering right to left. Top to bottom, it's about the same. I mean, this one right here, top to bottom, is a little bit different than this one top to bottom. So, yeah, centering on the first one definitely looks a bit better. But we'll wrapper that one up also. Now, one thing I did notice while going through the PSA website is the way that these stickers usually sell, whether they're on a PSA 9, an 8, even a 10, uh, is usually part of combinations uh, where you'll have multiple PSA 8, 9s, and 10s, and this is kind of a, one of the ones that's in there. Benito Santiago and Alvin Davis. 
I mean, it might be a way of moving something that may not move or just getting a better price for a particular collector of that player. I mean, some people collect players, some people collect teams, or whatever, whatever else might catch their eye. So we got the Cubs and the A's leading off there. And King County Stadium, the King Dome, yeah. <laughs> that old style dome, definitely interesting. All right, Tony Gwynn. Nice Hall of Fame card. He's looking real young there. Great career, great hitter, that's for sure. Got Dave Stewart, power pitcher. Rick Roden out. Again, Yankees pitcher, star, Roden. Nope. <laughs> Vince Coleman and Kirby Puckett. Now, unfortunately, Kirby Puckett got the wax on this one. We'll keep that one on the side anyway. And keep it moving. Third from the last pack here. All right. Astros, and we're going to see another old dome. The Astrodome, home no longer of the Houston Astros. It was back when they were in the National League. I, I really don't like what they did as far as the whole league switch. It didn't make all that much sense to me, but I, I guess it shook things up a bit. Got Dave Smith, Joe Carter, Johnny Franco. That's another one that was never been found in a 10 or never graded in a 10. I'm going to keep that one on the side. Wally World, another one who had a great career, but uh, not exactly Hall of Fame level, and he looks like a bit of a derp in that picture, I, mean, I guess he just hit one, but I uh, guess he just hit one and hit one out of the park and is looking at it, but yeah, that, that's, a, that's a real derpy picture of him, not exactly the best in-action shot. I, I know if I was a ball player, that's probably not the picture I'd want to go on a on a baseball card. All right, lining up with the next one: Baltimore Orioles and Atlanta Braves, and Bush Stadium, home of the Cardinals. Starting it off with Roger McDowell, Kevin Seitzer, Mitch Webster, Matt Noakes, and Steve Sachs. Again, not exactly uh, the best Yankee second baseman. He was with them for a little bit, and uh, here he's with the Dodgers. But uh, some players just pass through, and uh, again, it might have been Steinbrenner's excesses or whatever. All right, next one. And this is the last. And we get another shot of the Astrodome, I hope. There we go. Another shot of the Astrodome. Home of the Houston Astros. All right. Got Carney Lansford. Mike Doon. Mike Pagliarolo. Was not exactly the best follow-up after Nettles or before others. Uh, I mean, again, some players are just fill-ins. Shane Raleigh and Gary Gaetti. Now, he's a third baseman I would have taken. Um, definitely part of the Twins. Herbeck Gaetti. Brunanski when he was with them. Uh, definitely players to follow. And uh, again, you never know what could have happened or should have happened. Uh, not exactly Hall of Fame level, but perennial all-star. Great third baseman. I know I liked watching him play. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Going to be wrapping up here. Always nice to pull two Ripkins and Orion. Make sure you give a thumbs up. Subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you think. If there's any packs or sports or anything like that that you might want to see open, let me know. Um, I do have a ton of other stuff to get ready to open uh, from a bunch of different years, but definitely more than happy and willing to try something different or new. Expo sticker there for y'all. Y'all have a great one. Stay blessed. Bunkle out.